Alright, this is how to add a rotating banner on Weebly using the Nevo slider. So first off, we're going to come down here to uh, what's that, Chrome. And we're going to be using, of course, Weebly.com. We're going to be using the WeeblyForums.com. I'll have the link below. And then you're going to use the uh, Nevo.dev7studios.com. So first off, we're going to start here in the Weebly Forums. We're going to go down to the downloading the scripts and styles. And click the link, and it's going to bring you over to a members-only area. Um, here you can sign up for for uh, to become a member. Um, it's absolutely free. Um, you put in a username and email they'll send you a confirmation link and you'll be registered but since I'm already a member I'm going to sign in and we're gonna go back over here and click the files for download now we're gonna scroll down to the download file it says the zip file click here to download Downloads fairly quickly. I open this up and I'm going to extract it to the desktop. And I'm going to exit up. So here we are at the, at the desktop. You can see that I have a folder called Nevo Slider. Double click, double click. And here's everything that they add to the Nevo Slider. Now we're going to go back over to Weebly and sign into Weebly. Do the general login, John Smith at AverageStudentDesigns.com, and password and login. Go over to the edit so that you can edit your web page. And we're going to go to the designs tab. Or the design tab. Click the edit HTML and CSS. And depending on what page you use, I'm using the tall page. So I'm going to click the picture for banner tall. Get the dimensions, which is 880 by 322. And I've already created my slides. You're going to name them slide one, slide two, slide three, slide four, slide five. I'm only using three slides. Now I'm going to edit my Nevo slider so that I have only one transition. I'm going to open this with Notepad. I'm going to always use this. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom to where it says uh, defaults, default settings, and see where it says effect right here. And right now it's set to random, which means that it could be one of about eight different effects. Now, I only want one effect. You can have as many effects as you want to. Um, over here at the, at the Nevo's actual page, uh, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see the uh, the effects. It's random. You can also use fold or whatever. Um, down here is a list of effects, and I just want to use fade. So I'm gonna post this site down at the bottom in the comment section or description section. So I'm going to take the fade, go over to my JavaScript, type in fade, and here you can change your speed of your slider. Um, you can change all sorts of effects. And you're going to want to save it and close it. And we'll go back into Weebly. Now here's where you're going to want to upload everything. So you add new files. We're going to go to the desktop, down to the Nevo slider. I'm going to 
double click and enable slider and open this one and then we're going to upload everything everything that the nebo slider has and click open now don't forget to edit your pictures so that they're the right dimensions before you upload those so we're going to upload our pictures I put them in pictures sample pictures slides one slides two and slide three we're gonna open those now those have to be named slide one two and three now I'm going to save it and we're going to add the HTML so the HTML is the div tags that's on step 4.1 on the Weebly forums just going to copy go back into my edit HTML and we're also going to delete the background in the CSS um, W site header now different different types of site vary where you're gonna have to mess with the CSS and the HTML a little bit this one I just happen to have to delete the background now we saw a W site header we're gonna go into our tall header go down to where we find W site header and between the div tags we're going to paste our new HTML with the slides now I only have three slides so I'm going to delete these ones and now we're going to go and grab our our links to our CSS and to our script <clears throat> oh excuse me so this is going to be in step 4.2 and step 5 I'm going to save this I'm going to go back into my settings now make sure that all of your scripts and your links go into your header code So I'm going to paste my script right here, and then I'm going to go and get my style sheet link. I accidentally put it in my HTML first, so I'm taking it out. And you're also going to put your style sheet into your header settings. Now remember to add both the script and link to the header setting on the Weebly forums it tells you to add them somewhere else remember to add both scripts or both the script and the link to the header so we're gonna add our link right here and we're going to click save to double check our HTML alright so this is what your site's gonna look like in the edit mode to where all the pictures are stacked up on top of each other don't get afraid of or don't be afraid of that uh, it's not a big deal because once you publish it it all syncs up with the JavaScript we're gonna click John Smith example website and here is your slider the slider rotates through all three of the slides and then it will start over again and if you have any questions please ask them in the comments below and I can try to answer as many as I can so there's your rotating banner and your Nevo slider